The month of March saw Mike King and seven others riding their Suzuki 50cc bikes from Kei Rianga to Bluff on their I Am Hope tour. They covered more than 4,200 kilometres across the country, speaking at schools and community events along the way. Now, the aim to address youth suicide and empower communities to connect with their youth who are struggling. It is so great to have you in the studio, Mike King. Yes, Thank you. welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. Wonderful. Let's start, let's start with why did you decide to do this tour? Well, so I Am Hope was a concept designed by young people um, to, to address a need. So what we know is that 40% um, of kids in school will have a major crisis before they leave school, um, sometimes associated with some type of suicidal thinking, um, which is nothing to worry about because, you know, if you haven't had a suicidal thought in your life, you need help. Um, everyone has them. Uh, so we need to normalise the fact that this is happening. But what we've discovered is 80% of kids who have recurring thoughts of suicide never ask for help ever. And the reasons they never ask for help is they fear judgment of others. They fear um, being gossiped about. Um, they fear upsetting their, their loving parents. My parents have done so much. They're working so hard. I don't want to put this burden on them. Um, and they needed to identify who was safe. You know, um, everyone says to me, oh, since you and John Kerwin have started talking, you know, you've changed the, the way things... Well, how do we know we've changed? There's no identifier out there. So we came up with a wee concept. Uh, it's a wee rubber band with I Am Hope written on it. And if you're wearing this wristband, what you're saying to people is, I won't judge you, I won't shame you, I won't take on your problems or try to fix you. I'm not qualified to fix you. All you'll get from me is unconditional love and hope but most importantly, if you want to talk to someone, I will come with you. It is also a signal that attitudes are changing. Mm. If you have that attitude that anyone has a mental health problem, is a drama queen, an attention seeker, a coward, your opinion is not welcome here anymore. We care about people in our community. We care about people close to us and um, complete strangers. So please take your attitude somewhere else. That is a brilliant concept and I love it. I just want to say thanks for everything you're doing, Mike. I mean, thanks. Sir Mike, I think, is what it's going to be in the years to come. No, I don't it. think so. I don't, I don't think anyone with convictions is allowed to be a sir. <laughs> <laughs> Learn something new every day on the cafe. <laughs> I'm still in for the running, though. Um, you are. Yes, thankfully. <laughs> um, tell us more about the tour, though. What, what was the one thing you learnt travelling around the country? Was there one thing that stood out? Well, um, our kids want permission to love. Our kids want permission to love, and all our generation is giving them is permission to judge. Um, uh, you know, kids learn by what they see, not by what we say. And, you know, we're a very judgmental uh, generation of people. And, you know, anyone who says, well, I'm not, look at your Facebook feed. Mm. Look at what your friends are saying and look at what you're commenting on. Um, and our kids are really struggling with that. But when you, when you give them permission to love, it's just mind-blowing how they take up the challenge. I think it's a really good thing that you're doing too because I think a lot of people would like to help people who are maybe f having yep. suicidal thoughts, but they don't know how, but by you, you're making it easy for them just by saying, well, you don't need to help, you just yeah. need to be there That's and listen. Right. You That's don't need right. to be, you know, you don't need to fix this problem. Well, so most people back off from this situation because they don't want to say the wrong thing and have yeah. something bad happen. We reiterate over and over and over again, it's not your job. Your job is just to care for people. That's all it is. I mean, it's about it's about everyone opening our hearts and and seeing what we could do. So um, people say to me, "Oh, well, you know, that sounds really extra." Look, we, there is data to back it up. If if eighty percent of kids are having suicidal thoughts. Um, never ask for help, uh, or forty percent of kids are in a major crisis. Then every adult in New Zealand must have been approached by at least one young person who's saying, "Hey, I'm struggling. Can I talk to you?" And ninety-five percent of us have never had that conversation. So my question to everyone is, why? 
What are we doing? Stop asking what governments are doing, what DHBs are doing, um, what everybody else is doing. Look in the mirror and ask yourself, what am I doing? What is, what is it about me that is making me unapproachable for young people? And if you look closely enough, you'll see that those little judgmental comments that we make every day, driving down in the car as a road as a, as a dad, oh, look at look what she's wearing, how ridiculous that mm. is. You know, she shouldn't be wearing that. I've got a little girl in the back seat right. going, oh, I like that, I yeah. want to. So we're creating doubt. We're the ones who are creating the anxiety. We're the ones who are creating the problems for our kids. So my message to my generation, stop asking what our, you know, um, what's wrong with the kids. The kids are perfect. Our kids are born perfect, they are perfect. And we spend the first 20 years of their life breaking them. You know, that, like this perfect little toys and we, every time you criticize, you're breaking a little piece off and then you're gluing it and you're breaking a piece off. So by the time there's 20, you're going, why isn't this plane flying straight? Well, you broke it. Yeah, yeah true. Mm. Great comment. And honestly, the work that you've been doing is phenomenal. And I think we've all learnt from what you've been doing. So it's, it's the benefit we take away from it, isn't it? Thanks, yeah. Mike. Thanks Love so it. much. Yeah. Uh, for more information about the I Am Hope Tour and Mike's incredibly important work, you can check out his Key to Life website. Mm.